This is the story of how a couple of guys who like to ride bikes fast, drive go-karts fast, and suck down chili dogs fast, became race car drivers. For as long as I can remember, my brother has had a penchant for speed. His fierce competitive drive never faltered and found outlets in multiple disciplines, but never race car driving. That would all change in a blink of an eye, though, when his plucky friend and employee, Jerem Pearson, would tell him about 24 hours of lemons. This is the story about suddenly realizing one's dreams, despite never believing they could ever be realistically within reach. Real quick rundown of what lemons racing is. An endurance car race for shitbox cars. You got a $500 budget to buy a car. You basically got to gut the car completely of everything that falls under safety you can throw money at. So roll cage, fire suppression, racing seat, wheels, tires, brakes. I think we bent the rules a little bit there and threw a little bit of money in suspension, upgrades, sway bars. So it's a race car. The race organizers required us to make a pitch, which included a theme. A bunch of us pole folk here in the fancy town of Berkshire County. This is our one chance to play aristocrat in a BMW that none of us can afford. Stefan, here's what you say. A couple guys from a car shop and a couple guys from a bike shop. No, why don't you just tell them the truth? The truth. That's why I started. A bunch of bike guys who have a pension for speed. Put me in the hot seat. I can write this in about a second. <laughs> I'm curious what you're writing over there. Sometimes when you draw a blank in life, you just gotta let the truth sing. A few months ago, I bought myself a motorcycle. Of course, a Harley, because any 30-year-old dude knows how to make smart choices. Pretty quickly, I realized that I'm either gonna die on this pig or get a million speeding tickets. That wisdom steered me right towards lemons racing, which is exactly what I was looking for. Fast forward a few days, and I'm driving back to my boss, coming back from some mountain bike riding. He himself stuck his pecker into that same YouTube glory hole and basically looks at me and proclaims, let's friggin' do this. We come from the Berkshires, land of the wealthy. Tanglewood picnicking, summer home having, rose drinking, swipe my platinum black, no limit, double down, Amex, gold edition kind of people kind of place. So we give you the Berkshire Aristocrashes. Yeehaw. There's the hero car. BMW 328i is my guess. First order of business is to replace the transmission in our car with one that hopefully works. This is Dave Kickery. His aptitude for working on cars is greater even than his skill for wrangling snakes. He was clutch in getting the car ready. Dump the motor and right on the ground. Too bad my toolbox out here, Jerry. We could have got this in there I, right off. I think this is <laughs> Literally, if they left it like this on the side and just said go to work, yeah, how long do you think it would have taken us yeah. to. Put sockets? I've never seen this before in my entire course. life. No, first time oh, I've ever oh. seen it. Separating the engine from the transmission proved to be much harder than we expected. He could have left us the impact driver, and we still wouldn't have been able to do it. I think this, I think this classifies as a lemon part. What do you guys think? I think we're, uh, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna be okay. Let's look at our car. Let me be able to see this. That's the beauty of it. That's the best way. That's the right way. Right? The way I had it was the best way. Yeah. It's so close, but not, not quite. At the race, the judges will inspect the car and determine if it's really worth $500. If they think it's worth more, they will penalize the team by subtracting laps from their overall total at the end of the race. Once everything was removed from the interior, we were able to put in the roll cage. While our trusty mechanic finished getting that done, Stefan started shit-talking Chuck. I'm not talking no We're all gonna remind you, right? Guys, don't piss him off. I'm not gonna piss him off. I'm gonna figure your ass. Let's put some money on it. How much we talking? No, because we're not going for fast. That's when you have to understand it's gonna get us in trouble. I'm gonna wreck this car. I'm gonna wreck this car. You know, be a cowboy. I love it. Don't do it. There ain't no way. <laughs> Once the car was ready, it was just a matter of putting on the livery and taking it for a test drive. I think it's more fun to drive than You don't need the power, you need the speed in the corner. Nailed it. 
there are no nanny controls on, yeah, no. and it has a rear wheel brake free bias. <laughs> Dude, honestly, this was the best decision. <laughs> We set up camp and shortly after the rest of our team arrived with the car. It wasn't long before Chuck was ripping fast laps and hustling the other cars on the track. Here it comes! It makes it look easy, right? I spun it first lap coming in here. All the so, way around? All the way around. It's like, I can outbreak everybody. Break the ass. Back in. It looks good, Rick. So loose. Yeah, it's so loose. Awesome. What was that, boss? Intense. Intense, I got a lot right? to learn. I don't know where the car is going to let go, so I was pussyfooting it the whole time. You got to go till the car lets you come. No, no, you Everybody is out there. <laughs> <laughs> I made one major I'll give this one to you. I'll give this one to you. Today's race day. First day. Start of the race. London's 2020. Hampshire Motor Speedway. Loud in New Hampshire. Alright, race is about to start. Chuck Larson is going to be racing first today. And the green flag is dropped! Too hot. It's a shit show. You come up on a on a corner and it's just everybody's stacking up. Yo, Bone, you want to go run recon real quick? Just cars back out. Gra gra grab a walkie. Wait, is that cars? That's cars. That's cars. Everybody has to report to the driving area. Okay. Oh, this is the Let's go. Whoever was last in the car passed under yellow. Boom. Boom. Stacked up kind of quick, and I was like, "Get your door around the middle." The next black flag is a one-hour timeout, and/or we make you do something stupid, like hating this thing. It's a boring black BMW, right? <laughs> so, how are we going to fix this problem for the rest of the day? We will not let it happen again. All right, we'll be here. I see that guy.
flowing so hard. There's real consequences. I feel so many people late breaking. Oh my god. Oh boy. fashion we had some car issues towards the end of the day our clutch was smoked we had training issues we ran around the paddock found some people that are willing to help it's a little rusty all right there's a disc too so we put this new clutch in here but they didn't reset this automatically adjusting clutch so it wasn't engaging properly which is why we burned it up really quick we gotta get creative and make it we have to make a jig to re-engage no. the new one i heard it was a apollo 13 out here it was apollo 11. Apollo something. One of those Apollos. We're literally bringing it back. Hey Jason, let, let's start over. I'm gonna film a YouTube video on how to do this. Is it M and M's and pasta? This is a mystery pile right here. Um, we're, gonna, we're gonna trust the man. Well, only a lemon. Holy crap! I, I, I dumped this morning. Not for the prize. It's not pasta, dude. Oh, well, yeah, I guess. He's coming out with yeah, a yeah. We'll just do it. It's it. It'll work. It's gonna be good. What are you gonna our fearless leader struggled with the transmission in the cold long into the night. They showed up to the paddock early. It was time to learn to what level they had success, if any. I pressure plate this but I think it should last the day. And? It, it works. It's not, it's not great. Or I mean, there's still some cuts it. It doesn't catch like firmly. Here's hoping we get through our final day of racing with no major issues. Day two of 24 hours of lemons. Truck started the day off with some solid driving. These rules are to scare you off, but That's once exactly you get here, it doesn't really matter. No. The but the guys, the guys yeah. here were surprised we got no penalty laps for our car. They were really well, surprised. Well, because our car was is wicked clean, but it just needs to get bumped up a little bit out there. We need to get a little rubbing out. Rub somebody out there. Jaren would get his wish, but it wouldn't be Stefan doing the rubbing. As the day wore on, the race became more chaotic. Would Joe be able to keep it together? the rest of the field. I'm getting out right now. All right. I was trying a different line. The tires on this car can't. They don't. Oh, it's they all can't the tires' take. fault, Craig. Well, it's not the tires' I, fault. I, I, I overdrove it. You're right. I was going to say overdrove it's these the tires. Driver's fault. Right. You're saying all the right I things. I overdrove these tires. Why don't you go put a new driver in and uh, suck less? Suck less as a team. <laughs> I, I thought I had a good line. The tires were set. <laughs> you. Once I hit the gators, it was all over. But it didn't slip over. <laughs> I noted for that. I almost rolled it.
The fucker gave me the finger! Lucky I didn't get black flag for passing under yellow. I just want to mentally prepare to get your race car with a bunch of over aggro. I'm fired up. Somehow I don't think he's giving Jaren a thumbs up. Throwing the car into the corner, Stefan threw caution to the wind. While our team was not in the running for a top finish, there was the matter of fastest lap to settle. Risks needed to be taken. Pro tip. Don't drive and talk on the radio at the same time. Someone for 80%. Fast guy, you're fast! Or for this shit. Stefan gained the respect of our team leader even if he wasn't quite able to beat his best lap time. The hot pit allowed for rapid refueling but full race gear had to be worn and a fire extinguisher had to be at the ready. Whatever Lemon's cause did find, they weren't enough. He kept pushing.
just might be the limit. Was that your fault or was that someone else's fault? Was it everybody's it was, it was fault? It my fault. I saw the flag come out, the yellow flag, and I just kind of lost my train of thought. You lost it when the flag came out. So, 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 so somehow you had contact when a caution was being thrown, which makes the tracks, track workers feel really safe. Well, we lived up to our name, we satisfied Jaren's wishes, and we got just about every infraction and problem you can have at a lemons race, and we had a rollicking good time doing it. Dude, they're out there f***ing building a tool to f***ing oh, clutch. Go to that, Jason. Just deal with the clutch plate. Are there M&Ms in the salad? We're filming. Is that, am I seeing that right? It's, uh, this is, um... Jason, no the, the important thing is what's it, being done with the car, not uh, the salad. This is, um, lemons... What are we calling this? What are the, what lemonade. Are the, we're making lemonade. Candy, candy, lemons, candy, apple salad. Well, we got lemons, we're doing We're, we're making lemonade. lemonade. Mm -hmm. All right, welcome to New Hampshire Motor Speedway. This is the Berkshire Aristocrats here, and uh, Aristo crashes. Sorry for the uh, subtleties there with the name. This is Dave Kickery. His aptitude for working on cars is greater even than his skill for wrangling snakes. He was clutch in getting the car ready. Clutch! <laughs>